and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are so excited to introduce our stamp set Penguin Party and its coordinating dies. So let's go ahead and check it out. This set has adorable little penguins in different positions. So here we have two penguins that can face each other and we have a tiny little baby penguin. Then we have this penguin that is facing front and there is one more style of penguin we'll show you in just a little bit. We have this cute igloo to help set the scene. And then we have a string of lights and it's perfect for decorating that igloo, but you can also have this cute little penguin here hold the string of lights as well, which is really fun and adorable. We also have a little smoke that can come out of the chimney and then some fun accessories. So we have a little present and a fish, which is of course a perfect present as well for these penguins. We also have a little trio of snowflakes to help set the scene. And then we have these little hearts here, which are cute between the penguins, but it works really well as smoke coming from the chimney as well. And then we have a larger heart. We have this cute little sign and there are some little icons that can fit in there. So we have free hugs, North Pole, and also this trio of hearts that fits perfectly in the sign. Then here is that other little penguin that I was talking about and he's holding a sign and he is my favorite penguin of all of the penguins in this set and he has all of these fun phrases. So we have your snow cool, happy holidays, I'm snow glad we're friends, I love you so much, Merry Christmas, and of course we have have a nice day. So you can go ahead and stamp those in his sign and create cute and simple quick and easy cards which are so fun. We also have some great sentiments. So we have have a very cool or happy holiday, Christmas or winter. So you can mix and match those depending on what kind of sentiment that you need for your card. And then we have this great little solid heart that's great for just filling in and adding little accents on cards. Now it's time to add some color to these adorable images and I'm going to be using some Copic markers and I really love coloring in penguins because there's a lots of different ways to do it. So you can use different shades of gray markers or black markers. So here we have neutrals but you could do tonals, cools, or warms within Copic. So there's four different shades of gray to get different looks for your penguins. And you can also color them in lighter or darker. So in this case, I'm doing more of kind of like a traditional look for the penguins, but then later on, I'm gonna do a little bit more of kind of like a pastel look. And some of the design team members did that in their cards. And I thought it was so cute how they gave the penguins just a little bit of a different look. They use lighter colors in their cards and lighter colors for the penguins. And that's just so much fun. For the little white area of their faces, I always add a little bit of shading right around the edge and then I just blend it out with the colorless blender so it blends out into nothing just to give them a little extra. Now for this little baby penguin I'm going to color him in gray and then I added just some little tiny dots for the dark gray marker. Now here you can see where I am going to be having this penguin be more towards that like pastel -y, lighter color. So I am adding a little bit of a darker shade towards the outside but then I'm blending it out with lighter markers just like that and you can see how cool he's looking. And so I'm going to kind of go back and forth until I get the look that I'm looking for and so I'm just adding a little bit more darkness and then blending it out again. And you'll see he just has a really different look than the other penguins and I think he's really fun. And for his belly I actually used a light yellow and then lighter orange for his beak and feet and then gave him some rosy cheeks. So he's just a different look and I like both. It just kind of depends on what card you're creating. Now for the igloo, I like to take a light blue marker and just kind of line all of those little blocks of ice and you can see it's really quick and it looks really cool. Then for the door, we're going to color that in brown, kind of like it has a wooden door. And so I'm just going to blend these out. Now you'll see that I decided to go back and add a little bit more blue to the blocks, but actually looking at it now, I think I could have left it how it was, but I went back with an even lighter blue marker and just blended out some of those areas and I think it looks really nice as well. I added some color to the snowflakes in that present and now we're going to work on the string of lights and I'm using a color combo by Grace from the design team and to make those little lights look like they're really glowing, she put that light yellow marker right along the edge. So she did blended out the purple, left a little white area and added the yellow in it. Isn't that so pretty? I can't wait to do that on my strings of lights from now on. Now we're going to blend out those other little hearts and the fish and then we're going to start filling in the sign and I like to do this sign kind of like a candy cane. I think it looks so cute with the red and 
the white. And then we'll do some light blue at the top and the bottom, almost like it's made out of the ice, right, from the igloo. And then for the sign, I'm adding a little warm gray just to make it look like maybe it's a little bit of an older sign, right? And now I'm going to blend in this penguin. And I'm using the same colors that I used in some of the penguins above. And you'll see just how cute he looks. I'm going to add some color to his beak and feet. And right here is when I realized I forgot to color in his little flippers there. So I'm going to add the color to that, add a little bit of light gray to his face and belly. And then we're going to blend out this sign. And I really like making it look like a wooden sign. I like to make sure it's nice and light towards the center so that I can stamp one of those sentiments. And it's definitely going to show. You could also heat emboss one of those sentiments on the wooden sign. And I think that would look really nice too. Next up, we have the coordinating dies, and you can bend these apart at the tabs, or you can use your wire snips to separate them. We're gonna take these coordinating dies and we're gonna line them up with the stamped images, holding them in place with some low tack tape. Then we'll run it through the die cut machine and we'll have perfectly cut out images. Then here is a look at all of the images in this set. I love that there's so many images and so many fun ways to mix and match them. And here you can see how you can mix and match some of these elements. So we're gonna give that guy the string of lights or put the string of lights on the igloo. You can add those cute little hearts to the sign and the penguins can be holding the little presents. You can also have the smoke coming out of the chimney or you can even put a heart in the sign instead of words for the little penguin, which I think is really cute as well. And I mean, look at that little baby penguin. How cute is he? Now it's time to start creating cards from this. And I talked about Grace's color combo. Well, we're gonna be recreating Grace's card right now. And right here, this is the forest backdrop. And we've die cut that out of some dolphin cardstock and then created a base there, a card base out of some white cardstock. And we're going to be stamping with the giant holiday messages. And I love that these messages are a perfect fit for this forest backdrop die. So you can see you could stamp either one of them in there. And this is just such a cute card. Now that we've used that backdrop for placing we can put that aside for later and we're going to be doing some heat embossing. So we're going to stamp this giant holiday message here in some clear embossing ink onto this white cardstock. And then we're going to be adding some white heat embossing powder and then we'll sprinkle that, tap off any of the excess and we're going to heat it up with the heat tool. And that's going to give us a nice bright white shiny sentiment. Well, the heat embossing powder is also going to resist ink. And so we're going to be doing some ink blending over top of the sentiment. It's going to look so cool. We're going to be creating a pastel rainbow look with some ink blending. And we have Kitsch Flamingo, Shaded Lilac, Salvage Patina, Evergreen Bow, and Twisted Citron. And we're going to be using blender brushes to bring this ink onto the cardstock. And so we're gonna start with the pink at the top and just gently build up that color. And then we're gonna keep going through all of these colors, building up this really cool rainbow. And you can see that as we put that ink down onto the cardstock, the white heat embossing powder is actually resisting that ink and you can still see that image through the ink blending and you can see just how beautiful that looks. Now that we've got the whole rainbow on there we can kind of build up some of the color and just get a little bit more of a bold look and you can see as you add color back on there it not only helps them blend together but it just brings that color up in there it makes it bolder. And then here we're going to take a dry cloth and we're just going to wipe over that white heat embossing because some of that ink is right on top. You can just buff that ink right out and now you have a bright white shiny sentiment again. Here we have a stitched rectangle die and we're gonna die cut that from a stitched border die. And that way it's gonna have the stitching all of the way around and it's gonna really match that forest backdrop really well. Now these dies are sandy beach accents, but they're actually perfect for snow banks as well. And so this is gonna look so cute. So I've taken one of those little small ones. We're gonna line it up on this snow there and that's gonna give us a little snow bank to tuck the little pole into. We're gonna die cut the trees and tree bases from the forest backdrop die. So those are included with that die. And we're gonna die cut those with white cardstock and sage cardstock. And so those are gonna go behind it. We're also gonna be die cutting a bunch of snowflakes. So this is from the Snow Globe Shutter Card add-on. This is a snowflake from the new stitched snowflake frame. And then here we have some awesome holographic cardstock. And really you could shop your stash for any fun snowflake dies that you have. That's what I went through. I went through all my winter dies and found a bunch of fun little snowflakes and die cut those from white and holographic cardstock. 
Grace added some fun little details to her white snowbanks and white trees to match the fun rainbow going on in the background. So we're going to take a light blue marker and just kind of blue green marker there and go along with the edge of that snow. And then we're going to bring in some of the other colors. So we're going to bring in the yellows, the purples and pinks. This is such a fun way to add some detail to plain white cardstock and also have it coordinate with the background as well. And so we're going to keep doing that to our little snow bank that we created. And we're also going to start layering all of our trees as well. So we're going to be putting that sage cardstock behind the trees and it's really nice to use the sage because it's a softer green which is going to go along with our softer rainbow color palette. Now we can start adding these elements to this fun backdrop. So we're going to be adding the snow over top and you'll see that it's going to cover up those little trees but that's okay because we have those other trees that are included in the die set that we're going to layer right on top and that's going to give this a really cool and unique look. So there you can see we're just going to layer those trees behind. Then we're going to start working on that awesome little pole. So we're going to put the pole into the snow bank. Um, and so we're just going to use a little pokey tool there to lift it up. And then you can just tuck that right in. Isn't that such a cute look? I love it. I love that a die can be for sand and for snow. Next, we're going to add that string of lights, the one that we colored at the very beginning of the video. We're going to add that onto that cute little igloo there. And you can see that on the igloo, we added some of that yellow on there as well to give it kind of that cool glow and have it match our whole rainbow backdrop. We'll add some cute little penguins and some more trees kind of in the background there right behind. And then onto those little white trees there, we're going to do the same treatment that we did on there. So we're adding pink, purple, yellow, and turquoise all in really light shades and then just kind of blending it out with the colorless blender so that everything looks like it's almost got this rainbow glow of the background like this really cool almost northern lights kind of feel. Now we're going to add those fun holographic snowflakes and then a little white snowflake at the top and you can see just how perfectly that sentiment fits inside. Oh I love it so much. Now we're going to be making a shaker card with all of this as well. So here we have some acetate and we're just going to add some tape runner to the back of this forest backdrop and we're going to add that acetate to it and that's going to become the window for our shaker. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some foam tape and this is doubled up foam tape. So we've stuck two pieces of foam tape together so that it has a double height so that our shaker pieces will be able to move freely. And we're just going to take some scissors and trim these pieces down and lay them all around this backdrop. And we can hide those pieces all around that edge and then that way these little shaker bits are going to be able to shake really well and it's really going to almost give it a snow globe feel. For shaker pieces to move around freely, I really like to use an anti-static powder tool. And so I like to run this tool all around the edges of the foam tape to make sure there's no excess stickiness anywhere or any kind of static just hanging around onto that acetate. So we're just going to rub that all the way around, make sure we take out any of the excess stickiness. And then now we're going to be able to add our little shaker bits here. And here I have some fun little kind of like shakery confetti pieces, sequins would be great too. And then we're going to peel up that liner paper on the foam and then we can put that cool rainbow background that we worked on earlier right along the back. And here you can see how fun it is to see those little shaker pieces move. It really feels like a snow globe to me. I think it's so cute and so pretty. And our last step is we're going to add some tape runner to the back of this whole shaker mechanism and then we're going to add it onto a card base. And that's a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. And this scene is all done. I just love this little scene. It's so cute and fun. It's fun to bring a die that came out in summertime and make it all wintry. And then I love that those giant holiday messages are a perfect fit for this forest backdrop. It's so cute and fun. Oh, and I just, I just love that little penguin. He's so adorable. And the little baby, oh my goodness, I just love it so much. Now, next up, Shari is going to be creating a super cute card. So take it away, Shari. Hello, for my card today, I'm using Penguin Party. So I've already colored and cut out all the images I'm going to use on my card. I'm going to be creating a cute little winter scene. I'm starting out with the Stitch Snowflake backdrop cut from some mermaid cardstock. That will be my background. And then I'm also going to use the Stitched Hillside backdrop in landscape for my snowy hills for my little characters to sit on. But before I put those two pieces together, I want to add some color to my background. So I'm using some Distress Oxide ink. This is in Peacock Feathers, and I'm just putting that around the top edge of this Stitch Snowflake backdrop. 
So we're going to have that mermaid color where it kind of hits those snowy hills towards the bottom and then it's going to get a little bit darker as you go up towards the top. I really like the look of this ink on those stitched snowflakes too. I think it makes that stitching detail stand out even more. And once I've got this kind of looking the way I want, I do want to darken it up just a bit more, give it even more contrast in the corners and on that top edge. So I'm going in with Distress Oxide in Blueprint Sketch and just adding that to the edges. So you can see how you get that variation in color. And once I get that on there sort of where I want, I'll go back in with that Peacock Feathers Blender tool and just blend those two colors together. So now that I have that looking the way I like, I'm going to add some liquid glue all over the back and go ahead and put this onto a card base. Now I can start to assemble my scene, so I'm just going to add some liquid glue to my snowy hills around that frame as well. And the really fun thing about this die is it creates a frame around your scene too. But if you didn't want that, you could easily just cut that part off. So I'm gluing that down and then I'll have a place to start to put all my cute little images from the Penguin Party set. Before I stick those down, I want to make sure I stamp the North Pole in my little sign. And then now I can start to arrange everything. I'm starting out with my igloo. I want that up on that topmost hill. So it's kind of up on the hill. And then my penguins are going to gather down towards the bottom around that little sign. So I've got that little smoke that comes out of the chimney, which I think is really cute. There's some hearts too, which are really fun to use coming out of the chimney. And then around my igloo, I've got a present and I'm also going to add those three little fish. So I'm just going to kind of scatter those around on the snow outside the front door. And I'm just going to turn them a little bit differently. I wanted to turn this one the other way so he sort of looks like he's upside down but I just think that's kind of funny anyways. So now to add my little North Pole sign and then I'm going to put my penguins down. Actually that North Pole sign is down with some foam as well but I'm putting my penguins down with foam so everything that's on that back hill is glued directly to the card base nice and flat and then everything on this front hill is kind of popped up to get a little bit of dimension. So I've got that little baby there. I kind of had to move it I got it a little crooked and I wanted to make sure I have enough space to put the mama penguin without covering up the stuff that is around the igloo up on the top. For the sentiment, I'm using some stamps also from the stamp set that says Happy Winter. I've just cut a little piece of guava cardstock. I'm going to be making a little banner that comes off the top edge of the card. So I'm just going to cut up the center to make a little fishtail banner. So I cut up the middle and then I connect to the corner to the top of my cut and make a little custom size fishtail banner for my sentiment. So I'm just adding some foam squares all over the bottom of this. This is going to go at the top towards the left and you can see that it's going to go off the card a little bit and then I'm just going to trim that excess cardstock off. So finally I wanted to add some glitter like some iciness to my little scene. So I'm adding it to the top and bottom of the sign, right across the top of the sign. And then I'm also adding it to the top of the igloo, like the there's just a layer of ice on everything. I put some on the little fish and the top of the present as well. And then I wanted to add some to the sky because it wasn't sparkly. So I'm just adding a few little dots of the stardust stickles just in between some of the snowflakes in the sky. So this just kind of brings that sparkly glitter up into the sky a little bit. And then here is my finished card. I just think it's so cute. I love those little penguins, especially that little baby. And I love the glitter that's added to this as well. This card is so cute, Shari. I absolutely love that beautiful background and of course, all of that sparkly glitter. And next up, we have some beautiful cards by the design team. And first up, we have a gorgeous card by Megan. It's so adorable and cute. And I love that she put the little sign penguin peeking out from behind the igloo. So creative and fun. 
Here we have a beautiful card by Tammy. She used the giant Let It Snow die as this fun sentiment into her cute penguin scene. Mindy created an interactive magic iris card using the snow globe add-on, and as you pull that tab, you get this fun look of that cute little penguin that has the sign, and I love that it says, I'm so glad we're friends. It's so cute and such a fun way to create an extra part of your sentiment in a card. Here, Grace brought out the scallop box card pop-up and created the cutest scene, and I love the purple and turquoise together so much. Letitia created a really cute ornament using a wood piece, and I think this is so fun and creative, and I think it would just be a fun little hostess gift. This card by Kara is so much fun. She used a no-line coloring technique, which is just gorgeous, and when you open it up, she has even more surprises by using the pop-up Be Merry and the little penguins on top with the lights everywhere. So cute and so much fun. Maureen created a flippin' awesome card, and she combined these cute little penguins with our Yeti set, which is so much fun. You've got those snowballs, the snowboarding. So cute to see the penguins doing so many fun things. And then as you pull the tab at the end, you get that adorable little swing with them decorating the house. Just so cute and fun. This card by Elise is so cute, and I love that she used pixie dust cardstock as the snow. It adds so much glittery fun. And then here, I love how Elena used a sentiment that's from the Magic Holiday Messages as the sentiment for her card in the sky. So cute and gorgeous. This card by Audrey is so clever. I love how she tore a piece of pattern paper to give the cool look of a snow-lined edge. And then here, this card by Tammy is so pretty. I love the purples and blues together with her fun stenciled snowflakes on top. And then Lynette created a really cool, tall, slimline card. I think this is so cute, and those little snowbanks are so fun to see these adorable scenes. And oh my goodness, we cannot wait to see what you guys create with Penguin Party, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!